J.J. Abrams is directing the next Star Wars. I'm just getting ready because I'm light sensitive. <laughs> So yes, this week we found out that Star Trek and Super 8 director J.J. Abrams is going to direct the next Star Wars movie. So of course this happened. Over and over and over. Which I mean, hey, fair point internet, but that actually got me thinking. What creates a lens flare and how does J.J. harness their raw power? He's already said he doesn't add them after the shoot with special effects. The crew actually makes them on set. Does he really have precise control over their look and feel? Like is he choosing between purple streak? an orange blob. I was also thinking, why God, why does he keep doing it? But I don't know if all the science in the world can figure that out. So let's stick with how lens flares work. Modern camera lenses are designed to minimize unwanted light from getting inside of them by using multiple elements. So your camera's lens isn't just one glass lens, it's multiple layers all sandwiched together with clear optical adhesive. They've got these complex chemical coatings to cut down on reflections. It's pretty crazy engineering. And lens flares happen when light that isn't from the image a camera is capturing gets into the lens. So if you're shooting a picture of a friend and there's light off the frame from, say, a lamp or the sun pointing directly into the lens, you get a flare. A normal lens flare is the one that looks like a ring of light with some spots coming out of it. That ring is called a corona, and it shows the diffraction of light from the source. You've probably noticed those little spots outside the ring can be different shapes. Now those shapes are the same shape as the diaphragm of your lens. The diaphragm is that bit that irises open and close to control how much light you're letting in. So if that iris makes a hexagonal hole, you're gonna get little hexagons. Also, a zoom lens and a prime lens, which you know is just one that doesn't zoom, will have two different kinds of lens flares. Zoom lenses have more elements, so you get more rings and spots because there's more glass. Lens flares are also whatever color the light that's being reflected is. Uh, those particularly Abrams-esque long lines of lens flares are called anamorphic lens flares or anamorphic streaks. Any movie you see that's in crazy super widescreen is probably shot on an anamorphic lens. Anamorphic lenses were created to fit super wide images onto the horizontal width of 35 millimeter film by squishing them down. Then the image is stretched back out, either on the editing computer or the lens on the movie theater's projector. So anything that was a circle before it gets stretched turns into a line or an oval. So yeah, by using different lenses and lights and putting them in different positions off camera, JJ's got a lot of control over exactly how those flares look. God, he loves those anamorphic ones. But it doesn't mean they should be there! Okay, so now that you know how they happen, you have to swear to me that you will never use them in your videos, okay? What do you guys think about J.J. Abrams directing Star Wars? I personally feel that once you're on Team Star Trek, it's a little weird to hop the fence. Seems a little traitory. Oh, come on! This is getting ridiculous. I am out of here. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you later, assuming that I haven't burned my corneas out.